I'm Karmi Shamash, I'm your astrologer. Today I will talk about uh, Thursday the 18th of July. Today is a beautiful day if you're a fire sign because the moon is in Sagittarius for the second consecutive day, making it beautiful if you're very favorable, if you're Aries, if you're uh, Sagittarius and if you're uh, Leo. How's it going to be for all signs? Aries, definitely make the best of this day. You have a trine from uh, Mercury and Venus, which are in Leo. So this is a perfect day to get things done. There's a grand trine between your sign, the moon and uh, uh, Venus and uh, Mercury. So this is a perfect day for difficult um, tasks. Moving to Taurus, it's a day to get things really organized. It's a day to make things actually uh, patch up together, things actually... Uh, uh, are more straight today. Why? Because you need to be actually very careful, especially if it comes to monetary things, financial things, like your budget, uh, add two and two together. Uh, maybe you need to think about your uh, next week ahead. So you just need to be a little bit more precise with your calculations. Uh, also, it can mean also being more careful with your relations. Uh, make a review, decide what is good, what was wrong, what was good. So it's kind of a balance sheet thing. Uh, in all cases, everything should be fine in uh, the great picture, but planet Mars is near your birthday, so be careful if you were born between the 18th and the 20th of May. Gemini, I know that the moon uh, opposes your sign, uh, so there is maybe some kind of a conflict at a certain moment. At that moment, you really need to stay uh, mature about it, talk about it in a mature way. Uh, if you want to discuss it, if you don't want to discuss it, it's, it's your choice. So what you have to do actually is uh, uh, take it easy. Don't get involved. That would be my uh, advice to you. Don't get involved in trouble. Your sign is really perfect. You don't need any headache. Planet uh, Jupiter is in your sign and this is a beautiful, gorgeous opportunity if you were born on the 1st, 2nd of um, June. Uh, cancer, uh, this is a day where things really need some, uh, some uh, follow-up. Uh, you need to work on your uh, on your daily schedule, on your daily routine, which is fine. There's no problem with that. Uh, there are people maybe who need your your okay, people who need some details from you, which is fine. Uh, probably it's a day where you need to focus on some issues related to your uh, uh, to your uh, maybe to your uh, work, to your health. Uh, if you've done something wrong that actually hurt your uh, your your body, meaning you need to detox. Um, so this is a nice time to look after yourself, to pamper yourself and pay attention to your schedule, which can be today a bit hectic. Moving to uh, Leo, of course, there's a a beautiful kind of vibe around you it's very helpful venus is in your sign and we have the moon in trine with your sign so it is like kind of a uh, like if you're in the ocean and you know just swimming around needing looking for a raft a saving raft raft and finally you find one so today is like a, a a breather you know so this is a beautiful day one of a kind uh get it Planet Venus is near your sign and you're near your birthday if you were born on the 30th, 31st of July, 1st of August. Moving to Virgo. So Virgo, you may be a little bit nostalgic. Maybe you cry a little bit. Maybe you feel a little bit emotional, which is fine as long as you know how to uh, get things back on track. If you feel like that, maybe you want to stay on your own for a bit and then you get it over, get over it, and then you move forward with your daily life. It's fine. You can be quite lucky though. Even if, uh, even if you feel a little bit emotional, it's okay. And mind you, Friday is going to be wonderful. Moving to Libra with the moon in the third house, definitely you find yourself quite busy, um, attracted to many people. People are attracted to you, especially the crowds, and you seem to be talkative, outspoken, talking a lot, discussing a lot. It can be an exam, it can be a presentation, or it can be a social um, thing. So whatever it is, it can be a busy day, but you have to know that by the end of the day, you may feel um, exhausted, 
And when you wake up the next day, Friday, you may feel a, a, a little bit exhausted too. Moving to Scorpio, I love this day. It encourages you to build more self-esteem. So try to be kind of uh, humble about it, modest about it. Don't build a big, uh, uh, you know, a big uh, kind of uh, palace around it. Uh, just be humble because the more humble you are, the more powerful you are. Uh, it's inside so grow inside and you can move mountains so this is going to be your task from now on um, because scorpios are going to get stronger and stronger by the day by the month and by the years your task now is to build on whatever you decided on monday and tuesday uh, Sagittarius with the moon in your sign there is something new that is knocking on your door maybe it's related to a health issue maybe it's related to some financial papers banking insurance things like that uh, there is a new change a new page in your in your life in this year so something is knocking on your door it's time for you to be um, very logical about it because whatever is coming you need to handle it with uh, with uh, with uh, with uh, logic and um, basically your sign is quite good so most probably it's it's related to something that does not touch you uh, uh, but it is related uh, to you so make sure that everything personal is quite fine that you're standing on firm ground and that's it that's great moving to capricorn so today is a slow day it's one of those very very ungrateful days that may actually upset you depress you disappoint you it's a day to stand still it's a day to stay away from trouble it's a day to not to get involved in anything at all and don't take risks whatsoever the moon reaches your sign on friday at 8 15 a.m universal time before that don't do anything just stay stick to your uh, routine otherwise you really need plan a plan b plan c Moving to uh, Aquarius. So Aquarius, this is a nice day where you can count on some help, or maybe on a friend's help, maybe on someone who really is your consultant, maybe your lawyer, maybe your, your parents. Um, this is a day where things actually work better when you join efforts, when you put, uh, you know, when you work hand in hand. So uh, you can enjoy this day. Try not to be a solo team, you know, join efforts. That would be great. Believe me. Uh, Pisces so maybe it's all about some important issue that you have to deal with that you really need to be very professional about which is okay you have nothing to worry about just stay as professional and as possible and you will love this beautiful day and the best surprise will come uh, by Friday morning okay um, that's when the moon changes you know from a square to a sextile, sextile. so that's when you feel great so uh, don't ruin the beautiful vibes coming on friday on the long weekend uh, let's uh, wrap it up with one on the 18th this should be a very interesting year some changes will knock on your door related probably most probably related to some um, uh, personal um, issues at home uh, maybe it's uh, your daily routine that has to change and you need to accommodate it to certain points uh, it has to do also with uh, changing maybe um, uh, something in your work uh, a project or something or maybe your health you need to look after it because you want to empower it and make it stronger and make it um, stronger so all in all it should be a very efficient and very productive year preparing you for a better year which is your next birthday wishing you all the best see you tomorrow enjoy bye bye